So, thank you for sitting down with us. So, I understand that you used to be an English teacher before. Yes. And then you made the transition to diplomacy. Yes. Why did you make that transition? Uh, you know, I was... Uh, thank you, first of all, for uh, inviting me to, to talk about my experience, uh, if we can exchange here. Uh, when uh, I, I went back to, to Djibouti after some studies in France, I was... Uh, active in, uh, in political uh, party. Uh, I was elected uh, municipal, uh, municipal leader. Then the, the ruling party asked for me, was looking for young profiles who can you know, renew uh, the, the political staff. Then they, they invited me to, to sit in the parliament and it was very interesting. I, I say, why not? Something to change. Then I have enough, uh, many supporters uh, of my uh, uh, all the students. Then I joined uh, the, the parliament. Then I was uh, sitting uh, in the in the committee of uh, of law. Uh, for me, it was a kind of uh, to enrich my my experience because I already studied culture and civilization. I, I went to participation to participate to exchange program from University of La Rochelle, France, to Western Sydney, Macarthur. And after that, I also participated to another experience exchange uh, of a student between our university in France and the University of, uh, uh, of Bandung in, uh, in Indonesia. I also uh, went to Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. I'm very interested in exchanging and knowing uh, other culture. Then I say, if diplomacy may be, uh, may be about uh, knowing better, uh, more culture, why not? It was a big opportunity for me to, to go from the university to, to the diplomacy, parliamentary diplomacy, exactly. Okay, yes. and why are you interested in cultural diplomacy in particular? Uh, cultural diplomacy, first of all, I was only interested in diplomacy. Uh, the cultural side is something, you know, uh, natural in, in diplomacy. When you are engaged in diplomacy, you have to know the other culture, because language and culture is the first bridge to the other. If you know the culture of some people and their language, it will open bigger doors. Then uh, culture, the cultural side of diplomacy is something inherent. Without culture, there is no diplomacy for me. Okay. Yes. Interesting. Yeah, and um, regards to Djibouti, uh, the country has a really particular position yes. and, and can be really used as a tool for getting closer to diverse cultures. What do you think about cultural diplomacy in Djibouti? It's a relevant topic today or it needs to be developed more? Of course, uh, in Djibouti it, has, it, is, it has always been a laboratory for, for culture. Uh, since a long time ago, there is many people living around uh, Djibouti, whether it be from Somalia, Ethiopia, uh, Eritrea, the Arab world, and also uh, the European uh, people. We used to, to be a bridge of all these people who want, who want to exchange. So in Djibouti, everyone speaks more than three languages. Because of, of everyday life, you have uh, neighbors, uh, neighborhood from afar, from Somali people, from Arabs, and you go to school, you learn uh, French, you learn uh, uh, Quran, of course, in, in, Arab, in Arabic. Uh, and then, if you have the chance to study more, you know English. Uh, then, Djibouti is like, you know, uh, a crossroads of all these cultures. And our position, we want to capitalize on it to develop uh, uh, tourism and, uh, and economical uh, infrastructures so that we can create jobs, uh, prosperity, thanks to the culture and the cultural bridge. That's why I will try to talk when, when I've, I've been invited here uh, in, uh, in the ICD. It's a great opportunity because uh, in 2010, we opened up an embassy here uh, in, in Germany and Germany opened up uh, an embassy in 2011. So now we are trying to also make bridges to the German people and try to, to make also uh, business and uh, academic exchange with the German people. So Djibouti can serve as a model for other countries in your region. Exactly. As a country 
where uh, uh, people from different cultures and religions and languages can uh, live together in a peaceful way. In a peaceful way. Absolutely. In Djibouti, you know, we uh, organize always uh, uh, seminars and symposiums and uh, peace talks uh, between Somali brothers who have been in war since 1991. And uh, when Ethiopia and Eritrea went in war also, we tried to uh, get closer uh, to try to bring them uh, together so that we can settle uh, peace. So we can say, as you, as you are telling me, that Djibouti can be an, a role model for, uh, for uh, using uh, cultural diplomacy uh, as a tool to bring peace and prosperity to the people. Um, do you have some advices for young people that wants to become politicians or leaders in diplomatic uh, field? Yes, I will, I will say only one thing. <laughs> Myself, I am quite young in, uh, in political experience. I have only eight years of, uh, of uh, political engagement. But I will say only one thing. Uh, don't be afraid of others. Go and talk to the people and try to not only understand them, but make you also understand and always take the best from other people and take the best for all examples. That's what I say. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Oh, it's for my pleasure. Great interview. Thank you. Thank you. No, it's my pleasure. Thank you.